Hey there, little explorers. Have you ever seen a huge ship sailing on the ocean? It's gigantic, made of heavy metal, and carries thousands of people and tons of cargo. But somehow it doesn't sink. Wait a minute. If a small rock sinks, why does a massive ship float? Is it magic, a secret power, or something even cooler? Stick around, because by the end of this adventure, you'll know exactly why ships don't sink. Close your eyes and imagine. You're at the beach, holding a tiny rock in one hand and a big, empty plastic bottle in the other. Now if you drop them both into the water, what happens? The rock sinks. The bottle floats. But why? They both have weight. Right. What makes something sink or float? Let's find out. Okay, let's do a quick game. What do you think helps a ship stay on top of the water? Really strong engines? Nope. A magical spell? Not quite. The shape of the ship? Yes. The secret is something called buoyancy. A special force that pushes up on objects in the water. If something is shaped just right, this force keeps it floating. A long time ago, a super smart scientist named Archimedes took a bath, yes, a bath, and discovered something amazing. He noticed that when he got in the tub, water moved up, like when you splash in a pool. That's because his body pushed some of the water out of the way. And guess what? The same thing happens with ships. If an object pushes away, or displaces, enough water, the water pushes back and helps it float. Let's go back to our beach experiment. A rock is small but super heavy. It doesn't push enough water away, so it sinks. But a ship? Even though it's huge and heavy, it's hollow inside and has a special curved shape that pushes away a lot of water. That's why the water pushes back hard enough to keep the ship floating. Here's something cool. If you take a ball of clay and drop it in water, it sinks. But if you flatten it into a boat shape, it floats. That's because spreading out weight over a big area helps the water push back more. That's why ships have a wide curved bottom instead of a pointy shape. Uh-oh, what if a ship gets a hole and water starts rushing in? If too much water fills the ship, it loses its hollow space, becomes too heavy, and sinks. That's why ships are built with strong materials and have special rooms inside that keep them from filling with water too fast. Yes, even the biggest ships can sink if they take on too much water. That's why ships have lifeboats, safety equipment, and special designs to keep everyone safe. But don't worry, most modern ships are built to be super strong and almost unsinkable. Here's a funny thought. What if you put a ship in outer space? Would it float? Nope. Floating in water is different from floating in space. In space, there's no air or water, so ships wouldn't sink or float. They would just drift forever. Did you know the biggest ship in the world is longer than four football fields? That's huge. Ships come in all shapes and sizes, tiny boats, giant cruise ships, and even floating cities. And they all stay on top of the water thanks to buoyancy and smart designs. Let's see if you remember what we learned today. Why do ships float? A, because of their special shape. B, because they have super engines. C, because they are magic. What is the force that pushes ships up in water? A, gravity. B, buoyancy. C, wind. Why do rocks sink but ships float? A, rocks don't like water. B, ships push away more water. C, ships have tiny wings under them. So next time you see a giant ship on the ocean, remember, it's not magic, it's science. Thanks to buoyancy, smart design, and Archimedes' discovery, ships can carry people, cars, and even other boats, all while floating like a feather on the water. And who knows? Maybe one day, you will build the world's next greatest ship. That's it for today, little explorers. See you next time for another amazing adventure.